Daily Coffee Chat, day nine. Welcome, grab yourself a coffee, enjoy the vibe. That didn't work at all. Tried to light off the candle. Oh, candle. Tried to light off that, didn't work at all. Actually, never mind, it worked. So yeah, just got back from the gym. Feeling pretty good. Hit a new uh, bicep curl, like one rep max. And I'm feeling pretty good about that because one of my goals was to, you know, get my bicep size up. So the fact that, you know, my strength on bicep curl, oh, hair's looking very funky. You see that? Yeah, whatever. So yeah, uh, my goal for the foreseeable future was to get my bicep curls up and to get my bench up and with bench I've been running into problems where like I feel a little pain in my elbow but I don't really care I'm still benching so if I end up like you know severely hurting myself that's kind of like name of the game really <coughs> so yeah I've been uh, focusing on that So we got the first week of tracking my smoking habits, uh, averaged out to 11 a day, which, you know, not, like, not the best, but not the worst. Like, there's people out there that smoke, like, 40 a day. So, the fact I smoke 11 gives me, like, hope that it will be easier for me to quit. Hello, cat. So, you know, I'll... I'll probably be able to quit, hopefully, in summer. That's how I, I, I want to quit during the summer. And not during the summer, then definitely by the winter, I'll probably be off them. It's all about the confidence. Like, I need to know that, okay, I can give these up. I can quit these. I can get out of my bad habit of smoking and I can like you know I can actually just not smoke pulling out the little necklace so yeah overall I had a pretty good workout today uh, Spotify premium ran out so I had to use SoundCloud and SoundCloud audios go a lot harder in the gym I will have to say that He's looking at the candle. <laughs> so yeah, uh, gonna be, you know, working out harder from now on. I wanna, like, I believe the day before yesterday, I uploaded a video saying like, I'm gonna lock in and all. And that is true, I am gonna lock in. Once Lent's up, I'm gonna be reshaping my diet focusing hard on my training like you know i'm gonna be i'm gonna be locking in and i'm gonna be hopefully getting better at communicating here and hopefully like you know an audience will actually start to grow out of this and then from there on out like i have everything else planned well planned it's very rudimentary and there's like obviously a few wrinkles that need to be ironed out in the plan but we we have something we have we have a plan of attack we have a way forward we have a goal uh, why is that weird yeah i wouldn't really know so yeah uh it's gonna be fun Gonna be fun locking in.
going to be fun getting bigger. And yeah. And I need like more things to talk about in these coffee chats because I record these every day and it's like, I don't know, I, I usually run out of things to say because it's just me kind of spitballing it. I know, like, once we have an audience here, once we have, like, actually gained an audience, I'm gonna be, like, asking you guys what you want me to talk about during these, so we can sort of have, like, almost a conversation, like, as close to a conversation as we can get in this format, and then, I don't know, maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't, but only one way to find out. YouTube keeps uh, removing my view counts on my videos. I'm not sure, like, why that is. But, like, you know, it. it's whatever. I'm usually only getting, like, one view a video, so. Hey. Went to church today, as per usual. Uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty good mass today. Really felt connected with what was being said. Really felt like I felt the presence of God with me, and you know, I like the presence of God is always there. It's just, it's just like something that you need to tune into. Like if you're a newer Christian, and you're like wondering how do I feel the presence of God you don't always feel it but he is always there you get me like it's not something that you can always tell but you need to have faith that he is there and then from that you can like really start to build a strong foundation like I found I used to never go to church. Like, I converted to Christianity when I was 18. Like, around November last year. And I didn't go to church until, like, literally two weeks ago. And ever since I have started going to church, I felt my faith, like, get a lot stronger. So... You know, if you're a new Christian and you're, like, you're not going to church, highly recommend that you do. Makes sense if you, like, haven't gone to church yet. Because, you know, it can be, it can be kind of daunting because you expect everyone else there to be, like, more of a Christian than you. Especially if you're, if you're a newer one. It's like that. It's like the same sort of anxiety that you get when you start going to the gym. But you very quickly realize, like, everyone's there for one thing, and it's because they want to feel the love of God. Like, people are there because they're devoted to God. And no one's going to judge you if you're new to that, because, like, they, they want to welcome you there. They want, they want you there. Because, like, you're a... Like you're a brother or a sister to them. And it's pretty sick because it's like... That, that sort of anxiety really starts to go away when like you start going pretty consistently. You go in one, like one time and then it's like all that anxiety disappears. Like the, the preacher, the priest, I, I don't even know what like they're called. But they will let you know that you are welcomed to, like, be in mass. And for anyone who, like, 
doesn't really believe in Christ, doesn't really believe in God and all that. But, like, you, you kind of want to know about it. Like, you want to understand why people are religious. Just try believe in him for, like, a little bit. Like, just try and pray and get closer to him. And you'll very, not very quickly, but, like, you'll start to get more and more why and then you'll feel God's presence and that's like the moment you feel God's presence you don't go back the moment you feel the amount of love God has for you is the moment that like you really start to get into it and you really like find yourself wanting to be a Christian I know, like, a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, because one person maybe will view this video, but, you know, a lot of people will, like, say to me, how can you smoke and be a Christian? And the truth is, no one's perfect. We're all constantly being refined and that's why I want to give them up because I want to get closer to God I want to take better care of the body that he has given me so that I can you know like I can be a better child of his also that that uh, longer video. I don't think I'm going to do long videos. As much. Like these are probably going to be like. These are some of the longest videos that I'm uploading right now. Because with the rest I like to keep them like. Short and sweet. Like people watch them. They get what they came for. And then they go on with their day. But with the longer videos. I plan for those to like. Like, I plan to upload those, like, maybe once a month. And those videos are gonna be, like, about something that's meaningful to me. And sort of help build that connection where, like, you can get to know me better through my videos. And I know that sounds, like, narcissistic as hell. But, like, you know, that's, like, the... That's all I can really do. I... I want to get to know, like, the people that watch my channel. But I don't, like, no one's watching these channels right now. They're, like, this channel right now. So, I can't really get to connect with the people that are watching. But once we have, like, a big enough fan base, once we have a big enough audience, that, that little strand, like, this little part is really annoying me. And I don't know why. I don't know what it's about. But yeah, uh, once we get like a big enough audience, I want to do like live streams. Like I want to do these coffee chats live so that I can talk to the people that watch me. And uh, a little, the, uh, the battle plan moving forward will be that I do these daily. I record like all the sort of advice videos in advance and I get like a month's worth of them recorded and then I do like the longer videos to sort of boost the channel up a bit like you know bring in new people do like the little white guy video essay sort of sort of deal and then hopefully that will like help boost the channel up hopefully that will get new people coming in and watching these videos and we'll see how it works we'll we'll see how it works but the long the longer video that i want to record now is gonna be about open world games and the human desire to explore and i'm gonna like you know I'm, i still need to write the script for it but i really want to talk about a game that is close to my heart, which is 
The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Because in, like, a dark time in my past, I really connected with that game and it really, like, helped me get through a tough per period of time because... You know, like, I just got to explore, like, this virtual world. And as of recently, I've been really thinking about, like, what really connected me to that game was the exploration, was the finding new things in the world. And I want to sort of connect that back to real life and how we can find new things every day to sort of, like, you know, give us... Like, give our mental health, thought, like, a little boost. You get me? No more coffee. Keep running when no one else is.